Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. As we know that we are discussing the very important thing in the linguistics. And in this video, I am going to tell you that very important things. If you are a researcher, you wish, you intend, you want to do some research activity. So this video will be very helpful for you. Because in this video, I am going to talk about discuss about the standards from how we can write a project linguistics literature an assignment a research paper a thesis so this video will be very helpful for all of you if you are linguist and if you are researcher so before we move on our, our video, I want to tell you that if you are new in our channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates about language and linguistics. So, let's move to our topic. The topic is the basics of writing linguistics paper. Linguistics or literature paper, project assignment, thesis. And if you are a student of linguistics, literature or any social sciences, you have to write anything like assignment, like research paper, like research project, like your thesis, because these are the compulsory things in your degree. So, if you want to write all these things, you have to know the basic standard that is followed all over the world. This is the basic standard. The standard is the six things you want to know these six things you have already know these six things but i am going to tell you that new thing in all these six things what is the new and see and focus and don't skip this video if you want to gain something the first is the introduction Introduction is very important. First, you want to do some research, some thesis in any field like social sciences or you are assigned some topic. You have a topic and you have to work on that particular topic. And introduction, you have to write what you want to do what you intend to do, what you wish to do. You have to write that. You have to hit the core point, what you want to do. In introduction, first thing is very important and you hit the core point, that is, what you want to do in this research, in this particular topic. The second thing is that, and if you are doing research in that particular topic, you have to find out and you have to write what is the importance what is the significance of your topic that on that topic you are doing research this thing is very important if you are doing some degree you know that how much your degree is very important for you so if you are doing any research you have to learn that how much is it important and this is the second thing what is the importance of your topic, your research? What is the scope of your research? You have to write. After that, you have to write what is the significance. And then, you have to write the background. What is the background? What is the background? Background means what type of research is and what are the total research is that have been conducted previously. And you have to find, you have to read that previous research in, and you have to find some gap that you that your study will fill this gap this thing is very important and you must know this thing and first you have to write the background of the things and you have to find the gap what is the gap and if you find a gap you have to find a problem and if you find the problem, you can say that 
I have find one problem in the previous studies and after finding a problem you have to set some objective on that objective you will you will get the solution and you are not going to get the solution what you will get in the objective the three things are very important one is the what you want to do the second is the how you want to do this the third is the why you want to do this these are the things that you want to write in your introduction section the next is and this section is very important and this is the sketch that i have told you that you have to write the introduction in this way because this is the standard you have to follow and if any scholar will write will read your paper and he will find all these things mean background the problem the objective the significance and the your studies introduction the next is the literature cited the next portion is the literature that you have read and you have cited in that particular project assignment thesis research paper and what is the literature literature have some things like you want to uh, want to say that in the previous researches you will report that in the previous these studies have been conducted and you have to report and you have to paraphrase all these uh, previous studies and uh, their results in your literature review and after that you have to write what are the particular languages on that languages this work has been done first the studies what type of studies and what are the studies that have been conducted in the previous in the background and then you have to write what are the languages on the languages this work have been done the third one is the what are the model that are developed in this line of research and what are the models that are adopted for conducting this type of research this is very important and then what are the theories related to this topic and what are the general theories that have been adopted while conducting this type of research you have to write these four things in your in your literature review have you got my point the next is the methodology methodology is very important it is the way that how you want to do the research that you have to choose the topic and you want to do work on that topic you have to tell that what is the way on that way you want to achieve some results and you have the problem for the solution of that problem you have to choose the methodology that will give the solution of that particular problem and in methodology you have to tell that how to conduct the research how you want to find the problem of that particular problem and then the next is the methodology mean we either you are adopting the qualitative methodology quantitative methodology mixed methodology either you research the action research or you you are applying any theory on the data what are you doing this is the methodology and after this choosing this you have to write the sampling the population what is the population on the population you are doing this type of research either you are working on an institution or more than one institution one city or more than one city or a province or the more than one provinces or you are doing research on your country or more than one country or either you are doing your research on all over the world what is your population and after that on that population you have to choose the samples 
and for sample choosing you have to collect the data and the collection of data you the data is the raw material you have to gain the data from that population and that population the data you have to choose the samples and you have to justify that this is the way on this way i will get the data i will get the sample and i will analyze my data and in these other things you have to write in the methodology section and the next is the finding you have analyzed your data and the analysis of data will gives you the finding and in finding section you have to report the finding what you have get from the data analysis and after that you have to write the discussion and what is your, your discussion your discussion is when you end your introduction level and you have to start the discussion from that point in discussion you have to write what is your specific problem what is the problem you want to get the solution and you have to find that discuss this is the problem and this is the solution and in the background you have written that these are the past studies and you have to write that these are the results of the past study and you have to compare that these are the past result and these are the my results and you have to compare both the results and you have to report that this is the difference and this is the distinction between my research and the previous research this is the way that you want to write your discussion and then you have to focus that particular point that on that particular point you are doing your research and you have to find that you have to write that this is the solution that i have found but this solution has not previously been explored so this is the very important thing and the next is the conclusion conclusion is the the outcome of your research what you have gained from your research and you have you have done this type of research and you have gained the you have to report the results that you have to write the conclusion and in conclusion conclusion you have right uh, that what is the gap for the future researchers and what is the implication of your research what are the domain on domain this research can be applied and what are the future what are the motivation for the future researchers what your study how your study will motivate for the future researchers and the readers how you can get some idea from your research from your paper and these are the standard things that you have to choose while writing your linguistics paper literature paper social sciences paper linguistics paper your assignment your projects and your thesis so if you want to know more about, about these ideas writing of research paper please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates and if you uh, want to approach us you can join our facebook link and you can go to the description box and you can join our facebook link and you can pin your comments and you can discuss your problem with us and we will give you the solution we will give you the guidance thank you very much